Hi guys, welcome back. Big Uncle Zach here with you again. Uh, having a great day. Uh, if you caught my fasting video yesterday, I fasted 24 hours and I did eat a little bit after that video. So I didn't go 96 hours fasting this week. I did a, I did a 24 and I had a little thin slice ribeye steak. It was probably three or four ounces with some sauteed mushrooms and uh, I think I ate some vegetables. I can't remember if I had carrots or something, but uh, but I'm feeling great, you know, so I had a little more energy this morning. I was so tired yesterday, and that's why I wanted to eat. And, well, I ate, and I slept great, and I had just way more energy today. And I had my mushroom coffee this morning, too, and that didn't really knock me out. So I don't know if that was it or not. I'm going to... I'm just gonna experiment it with it and use up the rest of this container. Um, I have enough for like three more weeks of use, so I might as well use it. And then um, got a great workout in. Uh, just talking about, I kind of have that mentality of fasting. It, it makes it a lot easier to skip breakfast and skip lunch when I just tell my I'm fasting. You know, I'm just I'm fasting. I don't know how long I'm just fasting. And then, if I want to eat dinner, I can eat dinner. And if I don't, I don't have to. But I, I, at least, I, it makes it, a, it's kind of like less choices. Like, fasting, in the past for me, has been so much easier than eating healthy. But now, I'm learning how to, it's like, okay, why waste the fast? And then, by eating unhealthy when you're done fasting. So now, I feel, I feel good about yesterday. I fasted 24 hours. I ate a little ribeye steak, some mushrooms. Um... Did I weigh in? I didn't weigh in yet, but I bet you when I get home today, I'm going to weigh less than I did yesterday. And that'll feel good too because it'll be like, hey, I even ate and lost weight. So I got the weight loss bets coming up where the one's going to be finished in like two days. I'll be able to weigh in or I can wait till the third day, but whatever. I already, I already have that one beat, but I'll be able to weigh in and win that bet. And then the second one's only like a week later, so I'm pretty confident I'll weigh in and win that one as well. And then the third one is uh, less than a week after that one. And that one I'm a little nervous about, but I think I'm going to push hard to the finish line and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it. And then so today, I made another weight loss bet, but it doesn't start until Monday. It's Saturday, April 13th right now. And so when I weigh in tonight, that will be also count as my weigh-in. Uh, for this next bet that starts Monday. So that'll be my initial weight. And um, and then that's another four week, lose 4% in four weeks. So that one is going to be tough. I only made a $40. I meant to join a $100 game, but I joined a $40 game on accident. But I was like, you know what? I, I'd rather have a higher monetary um, you know, drive behind it, but it's got to be more than money for sure. You know, it's got to be for my health and for my wealth and for my fitness and my life and my, my longevity and old age. I want to just be, you know, I was just talking about my co-workers, former co-workers that have worked with me. And I was asking a current co-worker, like, can you name some old guys that retired back and are still alive, you know, you know, like that are in their 80s and 90s. And we started rattling off all these names and it's like, no, they're all passed away. You know, they live to be maybe 72 or 76 or 78 and one of them was 81 and it's like that's not old that's not old at all like you should be living way way past that like get it figured out don't don't act like 72 is when you're gonna die like man you, you should be wanting to live to be 102 at least and healthy like i want to be out hiking and enjoying the outdoors at 72 and 82 and 92 like not no big deal this happens all the time around the world like look up the blue zones so anyway, back to my life and my reality right here, right now. I am, the weather has probably got me a little amped because it's like 80 degrees and sunny in Minnesota, which is just amazing. Um, got a great two mile run in today uh, on my lunch break. Uh, I just went in and I hit the treadmill at 5.5 miles an hour, which is faster than I've been running lately, but it's nowhere near like my top running pace when I, you know, like from the past. But it's good for me for now. And I was like, you know what? Just just run like a little quarter mile warm up and then slow down. And I got to a quarter mile and I wasn't even breathing yet. And my heart rate was still under control. I was like, well, let's just see if you can push it a mile. And I pushed it. I was like, at a mile, then you can just slow down and easily make it two miles. Got to the one mile mark, one mile and a quarter. I was like, let's just push it out. And I made it. Anyway, I made it the whole two miles at, a, you know, 5.5. 
which is like a 10 minute and 54 second mile. So I ran two miles in like 21 minutes and whatever, 45 seconds or whatever it was. Um, so it felt great. And I actually went a, two and a quarter miles. Um, but I was kind of timing myself on that first two miles. And then and then I lifted weights too. I did some biceps, triceps, some bent, some chest. Um, did I do? That was it. So it was a nice, hard, you know, like 30 minute workout for my lunch bag and it was great and so I haven't eaten I haven't eaten anything I had my mushroom coffee for breakfast and I think I'm feeling maybe my body got used to it or I was tired for some other reason yesterday I don't know but I just feel so much more amped today although I did sleep great last night too and woke up feeling great to the alarm popped right up and uh, I'm thinking I might if I weigh less when I get home like considerably less I feel like I am going to eat and, and, and just keep it a small meal though just a small healthy meal and see if I can just keep that rolling to just eat the one small healthy meal um, for the rest of these weight loss bets and if I don't, if I can't if I'm not going to hit my marks to lose the weight on the, then I'll just fast and you know I'll go on I'll, I'll jump on the exercise bike with the sweatsuit on and, and just drop the tonnage quick but um if I don't have to do that, I'd rather not. I'd rather just, you know, be able to eat healthy and small meals. And yeah, I could eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, small meal each one, but then I just, with my food addiction and my carb addiction and my sugar addiction in my past, I'm just trying to be a little more cautious. So I don't want to make it sound like this is the only way to lose weight because obviously it's not. I mean, there's people that are just rail skinny um, that, that eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. I'm not real skinny. When I am, I'll eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. It's just a matter of getting to where I want to be for my health and my overall longevity and, and just and feeling. I want to feel great. I want to look great. I want to be comfortable in my body. Like I said, I want to be able to take my shirt off and during the summer and go for a jog or a hike with and, and, and not be just totally ashamed of my belly hanging out, you know. So especially if I'm going to have more kids with my new wife and, and be able to be young and strong and fit and, and able to raise the child and feel good and, and let the child have a dad at, you know, past 20 years old instead of, you know, dropping dead at 70 and, and then the kid's still in high school, you know, or still in school. You know, that ain't my plan. My plan is to live a long, long, long time. And going back to what I've talked about a hundred times on this channel and I'm going to keep harping on it, cold showers, the cold therapy. Um, let's just talk about weight loss. Forget all the forget all the immune system boosting, the testosterone boosting, the T cell boosting, the circulation and blood flow and the waking up every morning with great blood flow everywhere. Um, let's talk about what's going to happen if you stand in a cold shower or sit in an ice bath for 24 hours, for 20, 48 hours. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to die. So this is something that your body knows you're going to die. And you're, if you're going to die, of, it'll be of hyperthermia. Hypo, hyperthermia. Hypothermia. So you're going to die of hypothermia and your body knows that in the first second that you jump in the cold bath or you turn on the cold shower. What does your body immediately start doing? I mean, it just goes into shock mode, panic mode. You got to survive. Talking about losing body fat, there is nothing you could possibly do to burn more body fat in five minutes than take a five minute shower, cold shower, or jump in an ice bath for five minutes. Like your body goes into hyper survival mode and, and to survive hyperthermia, hypothermia, you'd have to create body heat. And your brown fat gets activated. There's white fat in your body, which is like the fat hanging off your stomach, and the brown fat is like your core fat that controls your body temperature. That fat, like ignites on to create body heat and it tells your body to burn the, the white fat for, for heat as well. Um, and you just go into a hyper fat, fat burning mode. And so I, I think today was one of my longer cold showers. And it was because I had burned body fat on my mind. I didn't just have I didn't just have, you know, cellular rejuvenation and, and testosterone boosting and T cell immune immunity boosting, immunoglobins boosting on my mind, I had fat burning on my mind. So I, I, with that in mind, like I, I stayed in there longer. I started daydreaming. I started stretching. I was the only one in the shower, which is an, another great reason I like getting off at different times than my coworkers do. 
Um, I'm the only one in there. So I was doing some stretching and some toe touches and some, some, uh, there's a police car coming. I'm trying to relax here and pull over. Um, you know, just getting some stretching in, letting the water flow on my back. And I was like thinking about burning belly fat. I'm just letting the cold just pour onto my abdomen and my belly. And I can feel that cold water like tightening up the skin and, and just over the last few weeks and just tightening and like that's going to help with weight loss and help with the skin sag as you lose the weight. Just do it all natural. Cold showers are natural. Where the hell is a caveman getting a hot shower? I think of that. Of course cold showers are natural. Cold water is natural. Jumping in that lake in Minnesota? Come on. It's been the only way they could take a bath. All right, guys. I'm just about home. I'm super motivated, super positive. I might make another video later if I have time, but I wanted to make this one just because uh, reading all these positive and motivational books and personal self-help books and personal uh, uh, accountability books, like when I get a thought, I'm trying to just act on it immediately. And I started thinking about making my video, so I just I had to I act on it immediately. And I just hit record and just started yeah, jacking at the jaw, which I love to do. And I want to help people. I want to help myself. I want to change the world. I want to feed hungry people. I want to open up the world's eyes to the, the saving grace of Jesus Christ. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all for. I'm, I started the channel to lose weight and, and I do it in Jesus name because he is our savior. He is how you enjoy life. He is how you find happiness. Christianity desires to kill nobody. The Bible specifically says that don't cast your pearl before swine. Like if they don't want to hear the word of God, then don't tell it to them. But it certainly doesn't tell them, the Bible certainly doesn't say to kill non-Christians. It's like, let them go. They're going to find out soon enough. And we're at that point in the world where it's just you have to make a choice. You're either on God's side or you're not. God said you're either, because you're, you're either hot, he would rather you be hot or cold. But because you were lukewarm, I shall spew, spew you out of my mouth like I never knew you. And it's like, so get hot for Jesus, guys. Get hot for the rewards and, and the blessings you can have by serving Jesus. Guys, I love you. Jesus loves you. I love you. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.